Back when we were experiencing that brutal cold, broken pipes and a busted heater forced hundreds of North suburban kids out of their middle school. Now the students and their families are learning they'll be spending much longer at their temporary school. CBS 2's Jermont Terry has new reaction tonight from Gray's Lake. This is our first look at the mounting problems inside Gray's Lake Middle School. Images show water spewing from pumps, pipes with large punctures, and classrooms with ice glazed floors after water flooded the schoolhouse. The pipes like burst, so we got a couple days off for e-learning, and then it just kept snowballing into like more stuff. Eighth grader Charlie Vergen isn't exaggerating when he talks about more stuff compounding. Mechanics have been trying to get the school's heating and water system back up and running since everything froze during the MLK break. Four weeks later, Charlie and close to 600 other students are using the university center at nearby College of Lake County. Everyone's trying to just like get back to normal as best they can. Now there's news. The contractors will need at least 12 more weeks. I do kind of want to go back to middle school because then it's like band comes back, all that, all the stuff comes back to what it was. The earliest Charlie and his bandmates can practice in their school will be late April. I think a little bit frustrated. And while school leader says it will be at least another 12 weeks, we're talking late April before students can possibly get back into Grace Lake Middle School. One thing they cannot at this hour place a price tag on is the amount it's going to cost to fix all this damage. It leaves us a little bit curious, like where is our tax money going to be allocated for these repairs? The district tells us the fire sprinkler system is more than halfway complete and work on the new gym floor continues. Yet all supplies are not in stock, causing the delays. It leaves Charlie to wonder. So it's just like a lot of like questions like, are we going to get back to the school? Will stuff get canceled? In Grays Lake, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.